Well, for centuries, astronomers have debated over a biblical mystery, the Star of Bethlehem, which the Bible says led the wise men from Jerusalem to Bethlehem before hovering over the nativity scene. It's been a point of contention in the scientific community, but now NASA finally has a theory that potentially could explain it. Joining me live to talk us through it all is astronomer Professor Fred Watson. Uh, Professor, thanks for your time. Now, I hear you were very excited about this. Uh, talk us through the theory. Uh, yes, um, I'm always excited to talk about the Star of Bethlehem, and you're absolutely right. It's mm -hmm. been discussed by astronomers since 1614 when uh, the astronomer Johannes Kepler first started trying to work out what it was. Was it a real event or was it some sort of miracle? If it was a miracle, uh, it has nothing to do with astronomy. But you're absolutely right. There is a new theory that suggests that a particular comet, which was recorded by uh, Chinese astronomers in 5 BC, and that's whilst Herod was still alive. We know Herod, uh, King Herod, who's part of this story, uh, died in around 4 BCE. Uh, so uh, that comet uh, has by, been identified, actually not by NASA, but by one of their scientists who says he's working independently. Uh, uh, Mark Matney is his name. Uh, the uh, comet may well have behaved in a way that sort of fits the narrative of the Bible. But I think most astronomers, um, and I talked to many of my colleagues about this, I think they would um, cast some doubt on that theory, partly because, uh, yes, we know that comets appeared in the sky at that time. There are several records of Chinese observations of comets. But the bottom line is that the the uh, narrative in Matthew's Gospel, which is the only Gospel in which the Star of Bethlehem is described, it says that King Herod had to ask the wise men where to find it, how to see it, what time. Uh, and had it been something as brilliant as a comet, uh, then he wouldn't have needed to ask that question. And the same goes for an exploding star, which is one of the other theories. So we think um, perhaps it might have been something much more subtle because these wise men were very, very accomplished astrologers, probably from Persia. Uh, Professor, I guess talk us through just how plausible it is, the idea of a near-Earth comet appearing to pause in the sky to then observers on the ground. Yeah, that's the. I guess that's the new part of uh, of, um, of the, the theory that we've, we're hearing about. Um, if you have a comet, which is, uh, I should say, comets are in very elongated orbits. They're objects that uh, orbit the sun. They're basically like flying icebergs. Mm. To get near the sun, they, they release a tail. But if you have a comet that is essentially on its way towards Earth, in other words, one that is maybe not going to hit the Earth, but certainly going to skim past it, then it, well, it may well appear to be stationary in the sky for a number of days because of the fact that it's on a trajectory which is pointing towards our planet. And that's the, 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 the crux of this new theory. I mean, Professor, there have been hundreds of attempts to explain the Star of Bethlehem, as I'm sure you know. Where does this theory sit from your perspective compared with past favourites uh, and other explanations, including a supernova, for example? Um, I, well, uh, it fits as the newest, I think. <laughs> so it's great uh, that we, you know, <laughs> this, this idea is alive and well of people trying to imagine, uh, put them their times back to you know, the dawn of the millennium, uh, um, the, the dawn of that millennium, uh, and imagine what it would have been like in the sky and to fit what they know about astronomy into this. My, my own view, for what it's worth, is that it probably was something much more subtle, probably a coming together of planets in the sky, which these astrologers would have been well aware of as an unusual and rare event. And it would have been one that Herod would not would have had to ask about. And perhaps one final comment about the comet idea. Mm. Comets are usually associated as omens of evil. Uh, and this clearly was an omen of great goodness and joy uh, in, in what then became the Christian community. Uh, an omen of evil, evil would not really have fit the bill for that. Professor Fred Watson, uh, people definitely love the mystery of the star. Thank you for joining us today. Great pleasure. Many thanks, Holly.